this training marks an accomplishment related to attunement. Now, it might sound strange to hear, but we have succeeded in setting attunement free. We have set it free. Free from any limited definition of what it is. Yes, it's this, but it's also that. Yes, it's an energy medicine practice, but it's also a way of life. It's a consciousness practice. Yes, it involves the physical body, but it involves the mind, the emotions, the heart, and the human spirit. Attunement. There's no need to box it in, to limit it, to own it. We certainly don't own attunement here. Attunement is a gift of God, a gift from God, a gift of reconnection with source. We're here to know it for ourselves. And in the magic of attunement, when we know it for ourselves, we open up a way of attunement for others. I invite you to think about it this way. We live in a universe where there are a hierarchy of dimensions. We live in this wonderful, incredible dimension of planet Earth with all green and growing things, with skies and seas, living things. And we as human beings populating this planet, we live in this zone, this zone around the surface of the planet, biozone, depending on how scientists measure it, just a, a few miles thick, like the peel of an orange. And it stays within certain parameters of temperature. The atmosphere stays within certain parameters. If it wobbles very much, it's uncomfortable, right? But still, within very defined parameters. If you go to the sun, and then the center of the sun, where there is fusion, temperatures are incredible, unimaginable. They're not just a little hotter not just over the boiling point or something. There are many, 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 many times over uh, what they are on this planet. The mass of the sun is incredible. Over 99% of the mass of the solar system is the sun. All of that points to the fact that it is something that's happening at another scale. Obviously, in the solar system, we are nourished by that larger scale. We would not be here except for that. We couldn't live on the sun, but we couldn't live with, without what the sun provides. There is a physical example of something, but that physical example is showing us something else that there is a source of our own life that exists at a dimension that we didn't create. And as human beings in the usual sense, we don't populate. We don't live there. We live here at this level of things with physical bodies. And that's good because our physical bodies do well here. Our whole human facility does well here in this human world on earth. And yet there are other dimensions. And those dimensions nourish us, power us, fuel us, inspire us, uplift us. And how do we know? Because when we attune to them, we feel them and they impact us. Attunement is about tuning in to those source dimensions of reality that are 
at a dimension of a scale that's higher and far larger than what where we live here. Is this some kind of strange, I don't know, occult practice, some mystical practice, some unusual thing that we've found? No, it's how we're made. We're made to relate to that. Our word for it is primal spirituality. We're made to be plugged into that. We were born plugged into it. And yet there are things that happen in our culture through human psychology that break that connection for people so that they end up feeling lost, alienated. If you look up attunement in the the Google machine to find out what everyone thinks attunement is, it, it means like, Attuning to everything you might imagine you could attune to. You know, attuning to other people, attuning to this, attuning to nature. Um, and it is all that. Because our connection with the source reality that is at a higher level makes us feel connected to each other and with everything. But you leave out that source reality and try to live in a connected whole world. You could try and try and try and try, and it just doesn't happen. We find we are connected to each other when we find our connection with that larger reality. We find our place in it, our home in it. We come home to that. 